Look, it's official. We are in a recession. And unless you've been living under a rock, you've probably already seen hundreds of videos, news articles, and media reports surrounding this topic. But in today's video, I'm gonna be going through what you should expect from this recession and why you should be worried if you're not financially secure already. Because this is only the beginning and things are going to get worse, a lot worse. Three weeks ago, the BEA or the Bureau of Economic Analysis released their second quarter GDP estimate. Now, gross domestic product or GDP decreased at an annual rate of 0.9% in the second quarter of 2022. But that's following another decrease in the first quarter of 1.6%. And to cut a long story short, what that actually means is the United States have technically been in a recession for the last six months already, because they've already seen two decreases in two consecutive quarters when it comes to their GDP. And to be honest, the fact that officials still haven't actually announced that the US is in a recession is insane. You can go and Google the word recession and any Tom, Dick and Harry can learn that the US by definition is in one. Anyway, this is why you need this recession on your radar. GDP is basically an amalgamation of data, like government spending, business investment, exports, and personal consumption. It's basically the health of a country's economy over a certain period of time. And if we dig into this deeper, let's say we look at the NBER's Business Dating Cycle Committee. I know this isn't some team of people that organize matchmaking for business owners. It's basically a tracker of the US business cycle, which measures the rate of unemployment year on year. The great bars indicate when we're in a recession and in these gray bars the unemployment rate spikes dramatically. Now this is a trend that seems to happen in almost every single recession and now we're officially in one over the next few months we're going to see more and more people getting laid off and fewer businesses hiring new employees. So if you're working in a nine to five right now you're in a very vulnerable position. Inflation rates are still skyrocketing every day and so is your cost of living, your food, your fuel, your rent and any other expenses and it's only going to get uglier. Now people are already beginning to rub their two pennies together, but they're completely unaware of the fact that they might not even have a job or any income for that matter in a few months time. So what should people do? Well, if you're currently struggling financially, you need to take control of your life and your financial situation. You need to start generating more cash and more income. And how you do that is you start your own business. You start a side hustle and you create your own revenue stream. Now, luckily for you and for me, we live in the 21st century and starting an online business is easier and more accessible than it's ever been. But we don't just wanna start any business, we want to start something with low risk and little to no investment upfront. And there are many opportunities out there that fit that criteria. All you need to do is pick one and actually stick to it. Okay, don't bunny hop from business model to business model. Pick one that makes the most sense for you based on your skill set level, based on your experience, based on your desires and what interests you the most and stick to that one thing. If you don't have any ideas right now of what that looks like for you, then I've literally created a video on my channel called Best Online Businesses to Start in a Recession, right? Go and watch that video. I outline all of the pros and cons for a number of different business models, and you can make a calculated decision yourself as to what of those business models you want to start. So do that, pick one and stick to it. There are so many ways to make money online, but the reality is most people don't because they never actually get started with anything. They get stuck in this loop of watching videos about how to make money, but they never actually take action on making money themselves. Now, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jordan Platten and I own a company called Affluent.co. It's a multi-service digital marketing agency. It's based here in the UK. We generate millions of new revenue for companies all over the globe. And I started this company four years ago. I started it whilst I had a full-time job Job and I was fed up of working for somebody else. I was fed up of lining the pockets for my bosses, right? And I needed to work for myself. I needed freedom if I was going to be happy in my life. I got, went through this patch of depression where I got myself in debt. I worked myself out of that, but I was left unfilled in my life. And I looked around me one day and I saw everybody working in the office. And I said to myself, I am not going to become that person. I will not allow myself to live this life of complacency and mediocrity. And so I looked online for business models and I found a video just like the one I recommended to you. How to start an online business, right? And I looked at different models and I stumbled across the agency business model. That for me made the most sense. Now I don't care what business model you start just as long as it's low risk and low capital investment. I started this agency. I reached out to local businesses in my area. I started selling a service that I didn't even understand when I first started out, right? I got a client, I learned how to fulfill the service and 
the rest is history. Four years later, I'm making multiple seven figures across multiple companies that I never would have had the opportunity to start unless I took action on the information that I learned on videos like this. I bought a million dollar house and a supercar in my mid twenties. I treat my friends and my family all the time. I take my mum on once in a lifetime holidays every single year. I can do what I want, when I want. I don't answer to anybody and I live my life on my own terms. And I'm not saying this to brag, but I'm saying this because the exact same opportunities that I took four years ago still exist right in front of you guys. But the only difference between you and me is I took relentless action on the information I learned on videos just like this online. I'm no anomaly. I'm not a superhuman. Human. I'm the same as you. All I did was choose something and stick to it every single day and condition myself to obsess myself with the minor details and the minor goals to move the needle every single day. Every time I woke up and said, what am I doing to move the needle today, to move in the right direction, to get 1% closer to my ultimate goals? That is what I did. And you are capable of doing that exact same thing. And those exact same opportunities stand in front of you right now. So if you're stuck in a loop right now of watching content but not actually implementing it, you need to get out of that cycle because your time is running out. And look, I'm saying this as a seven-figure business owner and as a content creator. I literally create these videos for you guys and this channel depends on you. I appreciate every single one of you, but I want to help you. And I'm gonna be real with you here. There is no point watching this content if you're not going to implement anything I'm saying to you. It's just a waste of your time, right? When I first started out, and I decided that I wanted to start an agency. I immersed myself in that space. I made that decision and with pure conviction, I dove into teaching myself. I watched so many YouTube videos, but every single time I watched a video, I wrote notes and I stored them on my phone, on paper, and any way I needed to do so. And I started revising and I started learning every single element of launching and scaling an agency, right? What I did was I figured out in my brain all of the knowledge gaps that I had. I was like, okay, what does it take to actually run an agency? What do I need to learn? Okay, I need to understand what are the best clients for me to reach out to? Who is the ideal client? How do I reach out to them? What kind of scripts do I use? What is the meeting strategy? How do I I then onboard that client and actually get access to their ads and how do I run ads for them and I wrote down this list of all the information I need it was basically the outline of an online course that I didn't own and I googled all of these questions watch YouTube videos watch Google and I compiled this list of information. Now, when I first started my business and I decided that the agency model was right for me, I chose that with conviction and I immersed myself and I learned everything I needed to know about signing my first client. But I didn't have time to consume endless amounts of content. I had to be tactical about what I was actually consuming because I was working a full-time job. I only had early mornings and my evenings, right? And I was tired in the evening. So I needed to pick my battles. And so I wrote a list of all the things that I needed to learn that would help me sign my first client as an agency owner, okay? I needed to find who the ideal client was. I needed to find out how to reach out to them, what to say to them on the phone, and then how to get them onboarded and start fulfilling a service for them. I needed to understand these things. So I only watched content that was relevant to that number one goal of me getting that first client. And regardless of what business model you start, you need to make sure you set goals based on your situation right now. You don't wanna set a goal of I wanna make 10K a month when you haven't even got one client. Set micro goals like I need to sign my first client and only absorb content around that individual topic, okay? And then action everything you are learning. And I did that and I was compulsively obsessed with actioning all of my notes and it paid off. And I signed my first couple of clients within two weeks and I quit my job and went full time in my business because I only obsessed over the relevant information for me in that moment in time. And then I started learning about how to deliver a service to those clients, okay? I didn't do this beforehand. Then watch all these videos about building a team or about scaling an agency up, all this irrelevant information that is out there online that is not gonna help me get to my immediate goal of quitting my job through signing my first clients, through getting off the ground. So only look at the information that makes the most sense to you and then action it step by step. Okay, look, I wanna finish on this point because I know you guys ain't stupid and I know I'm shouting at you right now, but sometimes this is what people need to hear in moments when it is actually urgent because you guys are taking the steps to improve your life. You're watching videos like this, okay? You might be improving your habit. You might be reading books. You might be absorbing useful content online, but this is the time in your life where you need to grab the bull by the horns. This is the time in your life where if you wanna be successful, you are gonna get left behind unless you start doing something about it. Unless you start taking control of your financial financial position and your free time and using that time for something productive. Look, if I can do it, so can you.